Breaking news this morning, 531 your time. A driver under arrest this morning accused of crashing into a home while under the influence of alcohol. This happened just a few hours ago in Rancho Cordova. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo arrived at the scene just a few moments ago. Bridget, what are you seeing out there? Well, good morning, Conchetta and Bria. I just spoke with a family inside this home who tell me they were getting ready to go to bed when they heard a loud boom. They thought it was an earthquake or maybe an oak tree falling on their home, but instead it was a car that flew into their garage. Now the car you're looking at is actually not even the car we're talking about. The sheer force of the impact pushed this car also to go through the home. Again, this is the garage. You can see the roof has caved in because of how strong of this impact was. We also have fiberglass in the middle of the lawn, other debris and items that were in this garage look like the walls caved in as well. Now there were two people inside when this happened. There were also two people in the car. Now, thankfully, everyone was okay, but it certainly rattled the people in Inside. I just spoke with them. Listen to what they describe happened. Uh, we were sitting in the living room over here, and then we heard a giant crash, like perhaps a pine tree had fell on our house. Um, the house shook. Um, first thing I do is open the front door, and I see a young man, and there's blood and glass on his face. And um, he's saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Such a frightening experience. Now, as you heard, uh, there were two brothers in the car. The passenger uh, was the one speaking with the family, saying he was sorry, he was sorry. Now the family tells me they do accept that apology. They're just happy that everyone is okay. Meanwhile, we are learning more about the investigation. The driver went to uh, the hospital for a short period as he recovers from minor injuries. I'm told he is facing charges, and they are going to be felony because of the damage that was sustained to this house and speaking of the house, the homeowners um, are not able to go back in just yet. It needs to be assessed for structural stability. The water and gas has been turned off. It could be a long road until they're back inside and they say it's going to be a tough couple of weeks in hotels until they can figure out what to do next. Bria and Conchetta. And Bridget, the fact that that young man was able to get out of the car and make contact with the homeowners given the damage, we are very grateful that he is okay this morning.